Hello Leo, welcome on my channel, Triple Two Tarot. I'm going to do your monthly September 2022 reading. What's happening for you in this month? Keep an open mind. It's a general reading. Take what resonates, leave the rest. You can book a personal reading. Everything is given in the description box. Let's see what's happening for my Leos out there. What's happening for you? Who you could be? What are you going to experience this month? What will happen for you or what is coming your way? So you could be right now going through some type of a transition period of your life, going through some type of awakening, some type of um, soul lessons. Let's see what's happening for my Leos out there. Sun, moon, rising, any placements, you can write this reading. You have the page of wands. Could be dealing with another fire sign. We have the seven of coins. We have a two of swords. What's, what's happening here? Six of cups. Missing someone, being nostalgic about someone. Interesting. You could be dealing with a Capricorn or Aries. Or it could be Taurus. But I'm seeing a Capricorn here and Taurus. Yeah. So, Earth sign. You're going to be in love or being in a relationship with the Earth sign or you're waiting for who is the Earth sign to contact you, to be with you or being in a relationship with you maybe. Um, hmm. Oh my goodness. Okay. So you maybe recently got through a breakup or separation. You, I told you like you could be going through some type of a dark night of a soul. Um, something that you are on your spiritual journey with the faith here too. It's like learning some type of a lessons for your soul or for your maturity. Because that's why we've gone through this type of um, experience. Um, we have a, a six of swords here though. No, it's a four, four of swords. So you could be resting right now. You could be trying to heal again something from your past. You could be recently gone through a breakup or you have been still dealing with some type of a heartbreak that you're trying to heal. Okay. Something from your past. We have the also Taurus card here. That is the, it's, it's Herofen by the way. And we have a two of swords. For some of you. Hmm. This could be a, a, a breakup or marriage, maybe. You may be still healing because of that marriage or breakup. Like you are not, still don't have clarity, like why you break up with this person or why you got divorce or something. Um, interesting. We have the page of wands here and six of cups. So there is someone who's going to reach out to you, someone from your past, or this is you, you're reaching out to someone. Like someone that you think, it's a seven of cups. I'm so sorry to this. Oh my God. I'm just confused right now. So you could be talking to a lot of people right now, but you're not serious with anyone. Or this could be, let's say that you are confused about your options. Maybe you have options. Obviously, if you're a Leo, you have options. With the seven of cups and the two of swords, you're not sure which way to go which option to choose but i feel like a lot of you you're really looking for an out settlement like you really want to be with someone uh, you really want a, something solid and serious but you were like where is my person you don't see the person that you can be in a relationship with a long-term commitment with it's like you're still waiting for the right person to come you're waiting for maybe with the seven of pentacles and ace of pentacles waiting for a new person to come are you waiting for someone yeah this is definitely you're waiting for someone new or something to come like you're waiting for a new person to come into your life so you can start something or build something. You are willing to settle down. You're willing to settle down. But it's look like you're, you did not met the right person yet. Or maybe you met them, but with the two of swords, it's look like you did not have a clarity on that person when you met them. So maybe now you are confused about this person. This could be a new relationship that you're currently talking to someone, but with the page of wands and seven of cups, but there's still something is illusion, uh, dreaming about each other, just talking, texting, just the initial stage on relationship or flirting going on here. You could be flirting with people or talking to people or multiple dating people, but you're not, I don't think so. You're settled down or you're trying to settle down. Or for some of you, you could be keep tr attracting people, you know, that who is not looking for something serious as you are looking for it. So maybe that's, maybe it's like you're still waiting for the right person. But I feel like, look at this, this big pentacle is coming. So you're about to meet someone new. Whatever you have been waiting for, it's like your wait is over. You're about to meet the right person. There's also something confusion about your marriage here, or commitment, or your marriage life maybe. If you're already married, you're not sure. Are, are there some type of um, 
conflict here with your partner some of you you could be having a difficulty or some type of a conflict or misunderstanding with your husband or with your kid some of you with the seven of pentacles ace of pentacles and with this um, hierophant here you could be getting a new job here you could be getting back to some type of an institute school college or university are you waiting for something to come like you wanted to be selected you may be trying to apply into different things so keep trying because you are going to be selected basically wherever you want to be especially in a university or some type of institute college and we have a four of swords here if you're some of you you could be right now resting i don't think so you are isolating yourself you're not looking for dating you're waiting for the right person for others of you you just keep looking for the options you know flirting talking to people but you're not settled with someone because you're still waiting for the right person interesting you could be manifesting something definitely in your finances we have adjudication so yeah some of you you could be coming out of a divorce so maybe that's why you're not you're still not ready for it like you're still healing or in isolation or you could be gone through a breakup recently we have a family room yeah something could be going to be uh, happen in a family room or you are going to experience something in your family yeah we have a community and we also have the thoughts so this there could be someone that some of you this could be you with this um taurus and community here um this seraphim you could be going to get some type of a public recognition in your community whatever the work you're doing about your success about your work here you're going to be appreciated in your community for your work or there could be someone coming into your life like who could be from a different community or or maybe a, you have a same community so there could be a family meeting happening here because there is someone who's thinking about you or you are in someone's thoughts like someone is daydreaming about you but they're having a difficult time to approach you because they're not sure if you like them or not this could be someone who is in your neighborhood or same community or school or something like that yeah we have the gift here some of you you're going to receive a gift from your family or you're going to give a gift to your family if you are independent enough hmm I feel like there is also someone yeah you're going to receive some type of a success here in your community and it's a blessing for you you are also going to be chosen for something like selected in your like some type of a job interview test so good luck for that it's a gift like your for some of you it could be your fans or people who loves you or likes you they're going to send you a gift you're going to receive some type of a gift here but i feel like with these thoughts and gift here if you see in romance here so there's definitely some type of ideal partner is coming your way like you're going to receive a gift it's like it's a blessing for the universe from the universe that whatever type of a person that you have been waiting for is 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 going to be in front of you are coming in your life as a gift here you could be thinking about this person or this person is in front of you but you're not talking to each other yeah we have a poetry and we have the main female yeah So this could be someone that you're right now not in a contact with or you did not date with this person something happened or you're not you're just resting there's no contact here pause here break here, break here between you and this person but there is about to someone is about to enter in your life that who's going to be a blessing for you you know with this main female here like there could be a woman here who's thinking about you or checking on to you or they're dreaming about you and she's definitely going to tell you something and this could be a man whatever you are interested in you could be thinking about this woman like you think wow she's the one interesting you are about to meet the one here like someone that who just you have been waiting for this type of a person and this person will be in front of you you may be going on a date with this person wow i just shuffle the cards and we have the soulmate so yeah i feel like you're about to meet your soulmate and if you already have someone in your mind and you're thinking about them yes this person is your soulmate so go and talk to this person make a move let them know what you're feeling yeah because this person could be heartbroken or you could be heartbroken or you could be in a separation right now yeah i said heartbroken and separation yes so you could be not together but i feel like you are coming together with a phoenix and soulmate so you're about to meet this person they could be scorpio or you could you're going to fall in love Leo if you're single and you are still trying to heal someone from your past you're still heartbroken and separated you're going to heal because this person is going to be a blessing for you 
whoever this is male or female is entering in your life there this this love that's coming is like is going to be your soulmate and you're going to fall in love with this person like unconditionally going to be in love with this person and this person is going to love and cherish you as you are yeah because it's like the wait is over the perfect person is like the right person on the right time you're about to meet this person you will fall in love again or this person is already in love with you and they're gonna say it to you or maybe something did not happen yet between you and this person but you will heal you are definitely going to be together whoever this is coming your way universe has a plan for you you're about to meet this person or you met them and you're it's like about to start or fall in love are you maybe already falling in love i told you with the page of wands is like catching the feelings and with the seven of cups like they're dreaming about the person thinking about them idealizing how how we would be together so they could be your soulmate by the way somebody is dreaming about you they're thinking about you and they're about to reach out to you and you will be together um they could be already in love with you and and they feel like you're the perfect match for them because they always have been waiting for the person just like you but they could be going through a divorce or separation they could be coming out of some type of a breakup or separation but it's like it's a new beginning in love for both of you and it's a gift for both of you because it's a soulmate this is your reading gonna see you later bye